welcome back everyone our friend joseph here has asked us um, if it is possible to fill one or more text box or combo box you know just by selecting a name in the first combo box so this is fairly you know uh, easy to accomplish so i'm just gonna do a quick video just to uh to show you how you can do that okay so here i have an excel file and this is the data that we use for our normal demos here in this vba to z channel so first thing i'm gonna quickly you know create a new user form so we'll just try to keep it simple as possible so first i'm gonna add a combo box that will have a name in it and then as soon as the name is selected we'll try to fill in some information just below that okay so let's say that i have uh, i'll just copy on this control c and control d just copying and pasting them okay so we'll just add a label here we'll just call this name copy and paste this real line i'll just call this company or maybe email address okay so first we'll try to see uh, how it looks like let me just remove this once you can add one you know uh, the email address here you can accomplish the same for others as well so i'm just gonna copy and paste this i'll call this one as um, I'll call this address so that we don't have to retype the whole thing. Okay, so this is what we have right now. So if you want to rename your combo box or the objects, uh, you just go down here and just change the name here. For now, I'm just gonna keep it, you know, as it is, so that you you can follow along. Okay, so to go to the code, you can just go and right click on the user form and go to view code, or you can just press. Uh, F7 from your keyboard okay so behind this uh, this is the event that is associated with when you click the user form we don't want anything to run when you click on the user form so I'll just go here and select initialize so basically this is this code you know this is where the code will run as soon as you load the user form so as soon as the this is loaded I want you know all this combo box to be filled up first okay so first I'll just um, add a um, single item just to show you how easy it is me.combobox1.addItem so within the quotation you'll see hello world for example so if this is basically the syntax to add um, item to the combo box okay so combo box one is the name of the combo box okay and me is the user form basically and this is the string i want to add to my user uh combo box so i'm gonna press run or f5 and then you'll see hello world is there okay so similarly we're gonna add uh, multiple items instead of hello world so which is not what we want so i'll try to loop in through from row number till two till 27 no actually 28 sorry that's a serial number 28 is row number so i'll say dim i as long that's our variable and i'll say for i is equal to row number 2 till 28 and then i'll say the next so anything that comes between this loop is gonna run okay so if i just run this right now it's gonna add 28 hello world so instead of that I'll just remove hello world and I'll make these two cells uh, the row number is gonna be I that will be our variable it changes every time it loops and then the data that I want to come from is column number two and then row number is the variable okay so if I run this now you'll see that the name has been added okay so all the names from here has been added here so right now if we select anything it doesn't prefill it right so autofill it so i'm gonna associate the event to this so right click and then view code and then if you don't see combo box underscore change you go here first select the combo box one and then you select change okay then you'll get this code here or you can simply copy and paste this so as soon as uh, anything changes we want the other code to run and prefill these two boxes 
so the first box is email address is text box one and then text box two is the address so going into the code I'll say that um, so I'll say dim or you can directly say me dot text box one dot value is equal to so here this is where we you put in a function a vlookup function or you can do there are so many ways to accomplish this normally what I do is I use ADL codes to do this using SQL and all this but the simplest way is to do, use a vlookup function in, uh, for this so I'll say uh, the syntax is application dot worksheet function dot vlookup and then what we want to look up is the um, combo box one value so me dot combo box one dot value okay I want to look that up and then I want to look it up from column number B till N in data sample tab okay sheets so I'll say sheets and then I'll say data sample dot range uh, from B2 till B2 is here and then till N20 you know since we have a data added till row number 28 let's do that for now so you can make it more dynamic later on so 28 row number 28 and then after that I want to get uh, first uh, we want to get the email address so the email address is located in index number 10 so I'll just say 10 and then I want the exact match okay so for example if I run this right now and uh, <coughs> excuse me if I select James I want jbot at gmail.com right so select James so you, here you have the email address so let's try the other one if I select Lena we want uh, this particular email address so you know and you have that email address so similarly you know I'll just go here I'll copy this whole thing replicate it I'll just say text box 2 is equal to you know this lookup function and the index I want to return is the address so it's for starting from B so the email address is located in the fourth uh, you know table index basically so I'll say instead of 10 I'll make it to 4 so first one is for the name I mean the email address and then the second one is for the name address sorry just the address so if I run this now this combo box gets prefilled by the names and then as soon as I select the name so let me select the name which is down here so Alicia let's look down here Alicia and then you'll see the email address is Alicia it's in uh, 3273 right so stage 3 so this is how you can uh, use the event in the user form to sim you know s you know uh, make uh, autofill for you when you change uh, one thing in the you know in the combo box okay so I hope you found this uh, informative uh, if you have any additional questions um, you know any one of you following us um, please feel free to you know post your questions or comments in the video as well as in the discussion tab we'll try to you know look at it and come back to you as soon as possible so thank you for watching bye bye